I'm Dr. Brian Nicko, your cannabis expert for Cannabis Expert MD. Sam and I are here together again today, and he tells me he's got a list of frequently asked questions. What do you have for us today, Sam? Well, hi. So today we have Sydney from, from Sidmouth, UK. That's the United Kingdom. And she says, I have tried CBD drops, but didn't see any change in my knee and hip pain from arthritis. Am I doing it wrong? Well, and Thanksgiving, usually Sam doesn't give me a heads up on what the FAQs are, but he did on this one, and uh, I did need to look some things up. Well, uh, Sydney, are you doing this correctly or are you not? Good question. If you're placing the elixir underneath your tongue and keeping it there a full minute before you swallow, you are getting absorbed into your circulatory system. So as far as doing it right, there's one thing that you need to be doing properly. You need to look at your dose. In the UK... Uh, cannabis oil is legal provided the THC limit is no more than one milligram per container or bottle. Very strange way to put that, but that is how it is in the UK. Yeah, um, I just want to add something real quick. We've done um, a blog on this and it was about um, cannabis laws around the world. Believe it or not, the USA is actually pretty relaxed even federally compared to the world. Oh, yeah, there's uh, many places in the world CBD is entirely legal, and you're looking at a, a diamond prison over that. Uh, in the UK, though, they do have these standards. Uh, one of the things that the CBD uh, industry is, is wrestling with in the UK, just as in the United States, Sam, is the bunk product problem, right? Right. Uh, they actually did what uh, has been done in the United States before to where uh, the this was the Association for the cannabinoid industry in the UK. They actually went out and did random testing of specimens they picked up at different shops. They looked at 29 different specimens, 11 of them, that's about 38%, they were within 10% of the advertised CBD content. Now, within 10% is considered accurate. You're not going to be perfect on these products, of course. Uh, now, 11, another 11 of the 29 products, that's another 38% of them, had less than half of the advertised CBD content. Uh, in one product, a really nice looking product, I remember we had a picture of the bottle and the box, Sam, of this one particular one. I think they paid 135 quid, as they say in the UK, for it. Uh, at a really nice high, high street shop, had no CBD at all in it. So, uh, Sydney, one of the things that becomes important for patients, no matter where in the world you live, if you're using any kind of uh, hemp or cannabis product because you really have to vet your product thoroughly. You have to look at the lab results that the company publishes. If they don't publish lab results, a certificate of analysis, it's called, you move on to the next company. If you do like the results that are published on the COA, then you have to make sure it's a real lab. I have seen uh, some companies essentially generate fake lab reports uh, just to publish. Uh, so it comes down to being Sydney. I don't know if you're doing it right or not. First thing you have to make sure is that you're using proper CBD. And since you will be not using the full spectrum products that are available in the States because of the lower THC uh, limits in the UK, you're probably going to have to use a higher dose than you've probably heard me typically recommend with the whole plant products uh, that have the whole host of cannabinoids and terpenes in there. As you say, 12 and a half to 16 milligrams is a good starting dose. Uh, in the case that you're going to only be using the products that are either single molecule or perhaps broad spectrum, I would probably go to a 25 to 50 milligram dose as a starting area. So uh, good luck, Sydney. Number one, make sure you got good product. Number two, uh, pay attention to your dose on that.